This video is about fabrication of brake pad using polymer matrix composite material. First, place the die on the table and clean the die. Then place the cello tape for the preparation of mold. Apply wax to the mold area for the easy removal of material after the curing process. Weigh the apparatus and tear the following weight to zero. Then pour the epoxy to the apparatus up to the weight of 110 grams. Then fill the following materials. The material the first filled is calcium carbonate which weighs about weighs about 30 percentage. Pour the aluminium oxide which contribute about 6 percentage. Add graphite which contributes about 3 percentage of the whole composite. At last, add the periwinkle shell powder which contributes about 30 percentage of the whole composite which act as the reinforcement material in our polymer matrix composite material. No. After pouring off all the required materials, stir the material with the help of a hand stirrer and to get the approximate density of the polymer matrix composite material. At last, add the ordener according to the weight of epoxy poured at the first. Then add the epoxy. Uh, add more epoxy to get the required liquid form of the polymer matrix composite material. Stir the following mixes to get the following uh, in fo following materials and pour the mold into pour the following liquid into the mold where we prepared them where we prepared. Pour the liquid accordingly so that it fills the all the area of the mold. Keep the other mold which act as the following mold for the required testing. Same wise, apply wax to the mold for the easy removal of the material after the curing process. Pour the mold in pour the liquid into the following mold so that it does not overforce the mold. At last, close the die with the help of top die and tighten the screws so that there is no air gap between the uh, bottom die and the uh, top die. Tighten the screws accordingly so that the weight is applied to the all the parts of the composite so that there will not be no air bubbles at the end of the curing process. The mold is left over for about uh, 24 hours so that at last we get the polymer matrix composite material which will use which will be used for the brake pad